Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Stefa. I'm not driving, don't worry, the car is, car is parked. Today's exciting because I'm doing another book shopping vlog, haul, you name it. Um, I'm so excited because fantasy has just been too much lately and I need something to diversify my reading and just break me out of the slump I'm in. So yeah, I'm buying a couple of books. And yeah, so let's just get into it. Enough talk. for my book shopping trip with a stack of books that is under 10 and some money saved on my part because you know your girl's always been on a book budget i'm not willing to break my bank to buy 50 books just not my best interest here but i do have a lovely new stack that i bought recently which i'm excited to share with you okay so the first book that i purchased on my list was pachinko by min jin lee this is a book that i've honestly heard about and like was really curious about this for a long time because Reagan from Peru's project recommended this book but honestly it always intrigued me the whole premise behind the story and at the time I've never heard about something like this and I thought it was something fresh and unique and I was like okay sold I gotta buy this also a second reason for buying it is that I'm planning a video to read some of my favorite people's books and this is a part of that list so what a way to kill two birds with one stone, am I right? And continuing on that purchasing favorite booktubers books, I bought House of the Cerulean Sea, 
Oh, House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This book, I feel like everyone has read. <laughs> I'm very late to this bandwagon, but I'm planning to read this for Elias's favorite books video because this is a part of his curated list. And honestly, I've heard from a lot of booktubers that this is a really great page turner, all about found family and with a bit of fantasy. And it has a lot of great representation in this book. And it's something that's just really unique. And it's a standalone, so it won't take long anyway. That's under, how many pages is this? Less than 400 pages, so what a steal. So I'm really excited to pick this up. Another book I bought in this trip was A Man Called O by Frederick Backman. This one, apparently, I didn't realize, is a translated fiction novel all about an old man by the name of Ove. Um, that's kind of all I know about at this point. From what I got from Reagan's video, I just pretty much buy every book she recommends at this point. She was saying that it very much feels like Carl, the grandpa figure from Up, and like his story and how he's very reluctant to kind of move on with the times as modern technology and everything advances he's like reluctant to move on with him because he's held back in the past a bit and that's just kind of what this book is feeling like and i was intrigued because if it's anything like up with the balloons and whatnot that's a big hit for me <laughs> although up is really sad in the beginning it's such a cute movie and i really want to try this okay the next book i bought is really famous recently because i think book of the month added the book to their monthly selection and that was Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. And it's a novel standalone. All of these books, I'm pretty sure, are mostly standalones. But this one I've heard really, really great things about. And I know it's a romance, contemporary romance novel. And I need this in my life because <laughs> it sounds so interesting. And I don't know, it's just like the whole premise behind the story about how these two people meet and then they fall in love. But then like they just kind of fell out of it. And then a couple of years pass and then they come back together. It's just kind of that feel. And so I'm just really excited to read this. Okay, the next book that I picked up is actually a memoir, believe it or not. And it is called Between Two Kingdoms by Sulika Jaud. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've seen this book and Indigo for a while now. Like I know it's been out for a couple of years, but I've never been apt to picking it up. Possibly because memoirs and whole biographies and generally nonfiction is not my thing at all. But this one actually... The story behind it sounds really, really interesting. Just her experience of living after surviving chemo and cancer. And it's just something really interesting because I've never read a memoir before. And so I feel like this is a really great take, especially by a female of color in particular. And I'm just really excited to pick this up. Okay, the final book that I bought this haul is Jade City by Fonda Lee. I was so lucky because I thought of this last minute and there was one book left and it was this one. Thank goodness it was there and in paperback because it's cheaper. I ain't paying 30 bucks for hardcover, okay? I gotta save some money here. But yes, Jade City has been the book talk book. Specifically, Mel reads his book for a long, long time. Mel, I feel like, recommends this and like talks about it in every video she makes about her favorite books. And yes, it's because of her I'm reading this. <laughs> I've heard a lot of great things about this just because it has great representation again. It's like some high fantasy or urban fantasy novel. That's kind of all I know about it. I don't want to know too much because I feel like the less you know about something, it builds the shock factor and the surprise better. And I feel like you like find it more entertaining than you if you actually know about the book, if that kind of makes sense. I am sweating like buckets, but that concludes my book haul portion of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for my videos where I actually read these and reading vlogs and whatnot. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.